Martin, uh, two points dropped after a really promising run. Uh, I mean, nearly the perfect October. You know, fantastic to, to get a victory at Aberdeen and Hibs and Motherwell and a couple of home wins, one of them European win. Just thought today we'd have been finished off a perfect month and didn't see that coming. I mean, we struggled away from home against Livingston, but I thought at home with the bigger pitch. Um, a bit disappointed with the team selection. I thought Kyogo might have started and I think in games like this, I understand what the rest players, but win the game and take them off rather than starting. And we also, also knew there was going to be a protest, so we knew it was going to be a flat start from the from the sidelines. So I'd much rather had the intensity on the pitch. Um, so we didn't help ourselves, I think, with the team selection, if I'm being honest. I totally understand the squad rotation when you've got a strong squad, but I don't you could yet describe our squad as strong. Um, so I uh, just a wee bit of flat start to the game between the protest and and uh, the team selection. And we never really got out the out the traps, did we? And you know, when you think we didn't score at uh, Ammonville either, didn't score against them here, you think three hours, you know, not scoring against Livingston, it's, it's not good, is it? Um, really, really disappointing. Ah, it's terrible. I bumped into you earlier on before the game there, and I said to you, I'm not sure about Jacques Mack is starting because he's a big boy, swing swing crosses into him all day, and the Livingston defence leaked that up. And that's what happened today. We went wide a lot. Before Kyogo came on, we were going wide a lot, but all the crosses into the keeper's arms, we couldn't even find Jackie Marcus, the defence was dealing with it, and we didn't threaten the goalkeeper at all. Uh, and I didn't say it even before the game, but I disagreed with you, because they sometimes think you play against a big physical team, try and match them. But I suppose, you know, and I totally agree with you now, you're right, um, you know, did we have enough physicality? So you get a bit of physicality up front, but if you've not got enough, then you're not, you're not going to win the battle. Yeah? It's like having two or three guys that can fight against them that can fight. Uh, so probably the solution to that is to go with the flare players and win the free kicks and give yourself a wee chance at you know more set plays and uh, direct free kicks as well. I'm convinced in games like this because it was two two banks of five at the back, wasn't it? And we had we had actually tried a lot of shots from you know because we weren't breaking them down. We tried a lot of shots, but they were throwing their bodies at the ball. Eh? Um, they were determined, big strong guys that were were more than happy to get the ball smacking off them. They did that um, time and time again near the end of the game. So I'm convinced in games like this we need to go you know. <laughs> Three at the back, we need to go all your flair players and just, you know, run at them and, and, and inject some pace, eh? And get them get them giving us fouls. Chaotic last few minutes. Um we get a penalty out at absolutely nothing. Um that big number six swings his arm at Kyogo. Inexplicably the, the ball's in the keeper's hands. We get a penalty. Um perfect get with jail card and why was Juranovic no hitting it after hitting two brilliant ones recently? Well, first and foremost, he should have taken it, shouldn't it? Because his last two penalties were not just goals, but they were they were good penalties. I think in a situation like that, where you've got a player who's still finding their feet, you know, he's only played two or three games. He didn't play well today. No, nah, and he did it, and, and his confidence can't yet be high because he's not settled into the team, so he's still feeling that pressure, isn't he, getting himself that first ten goals. He would have been genuinely, he would have been the last player I'd have put to take a penalty today because he's not settled into the team yet. I suppose a counter argument to that is that his last club he was a prolific scorer from penalties. But you're right, Juranovic first and foremost. I had a Kyogo taking away there, Mikey Johnston, or maybe even the defaulted back to the captain. I know he's I know he's missed a couple, but there's so many players on that pitch that could I don't have taken. I think MD could have had a worse penalty than no, Forrest as well, you know, why was you not Forrest? You know, the guys that are really good and clinical and, and confident and been at a club for a long time, they're the ones that should step up. But then, then you get to how he took the penalty. I mean, it was an absolute shocker, eh? I mean, he's tried to obviously stall and, and see what way the keeper's going, and then he's not got any pace behind the ball at all, eh? I mean, even when you take those short run-ups, you still have to get a bit of power behind the ball, eh? And at that stage of the game, 93 minutes, you have to just put your, your laces through it, eh? You have to blast it into the goal, eh? And put the keeper in the goal, even if he does try and save it. But hugely disappointed. And of course, he had the chance after that as well, didn't he? Showed no composure. No composure. I felt sorry for him at the end. You could see he was absolutely dejected and... Um, I think it was Ralph went up and tried to console him and he looked inconsolable but uh, my, wrong decision definitely wrong decision and I genuinely wish we'd went strong from the, from the start and taken the, the flair players off um, As I say we had that good one five wins in the spin and our shocker here today do you think that's going to be the story of the season ups and downs? No, nah, I think I think we all come down and we all get a bit of consistency I think today bad day at the office but you know we've had that run now and it's a feel good I was a bit disappointed with the protest today. That's just my personal opinion. I know lots of other people disagree with that, but you don't want to do anything that's going to impact the team, eh? Um, whereas you look at Motherwell, you look at Hibs, not just away games, home games as well, and you go into that and you just feel brilliant being in the stadium. Um, the fans just inject that positivity. We didn't have that today, partly because, you know, the, the, the part of the stadium that's, that's allowed us was, was quiet. So players come out in the pitch and it's a bit flat and you're playing against Livingston and subconsciously you're thinking, this is going to be easier. We've just beaten three hard teams away and... You don't, you don't mean to try less, but you do. And then you've not got the fans backing you as much in that first 30 minutes before you know it's half-time. Second half, it's 55 minutes, it's, it's, it's 70 minutes, and the game's disappearing there. And they, Livingston are really disappointed. They understand them defending, but 
you know, the, the gamesmanship was, was really, really bad today, wasn't it? You know, feigning an injury, the guy sat down for, oh, it felt like 10 minutes, didn't it? And then he got up and he's sprinting at the half line. Then he comes on. He gets waved on behind Johnson. Johnson's one on one with somebody and the ref waves him on, he keeps up behind him. Incredible. I mean, the referee didn't help. I hate complaining about referees. We know what the referee's all about. It's, it's, it's not going to change. It's never going to change in Scotland. It's the way it is, but um, I was really disappointed. You know, if, if you're a young Livingston fan and you're watching that, what does that teach you? Meant to be a family club, meant to be a, you know, just a club that you generally respect. I was really disappointed with our, the, the way they performed today. And I get time wasted and I get a bit of that, but just. I thought it was unacceptable the way they behaved today.